10 years ago, our own Leon Bibb also covered the rescue of Amanda, Gina and Michelle, who again is now Lily Rose. He, like many other journalists, has returned to Seymour Avenue to remember what happened there on May 6, 2013. In his own words, Leon writes about life today in a place where evil lived and hid three young women in plain sight. On the Cleveland near west side, Seymour Avenue steps into another spring. Seasonal growth is pushing up. Generally, there is a peace in the air, far distant from the atmosphere of a decade ago when peace had been shattered. A decade ago, Cleveland uncovered a horrible secret which had been hidden inside a house until it spilled out in all of its horrendous way. Behind its walls and shuttered windows, torturous crimes unfolded. Amanda Berry and Gina De Jesus had been locked in a house turned dungeon for a decade. A third woman, Michelle Knight, was 11 years captive, all at the hands of the kidnapper Ariel Castro, who lived here too. In 2003, there began the long search for the women who had simply vanished from Cleveland as if the world had swallowed them up. That is until 10 years later when Amanda Berry somehow broke away, darting to the daylight of Seymour Avenue's sidewalk only yards away. I covered every aspect of this story, from the disappearance of the women, to the 10-year searches of the women, to the interviews of their loved ones, and to their rescues. In the electronic age, this story, called The Miracle in Cleveland, went worldwide at lightning speed. Even the British Broadcasting Corporation contacted me to comment on the ordeal. The judge sentenced Castro to life, plus an additional 1,000 years for kidnapping, torturing, imprisoning the three women. Months later, Castro killed himself in his prison cell. The three women have moved on. After the court case, the city tore down the House of Horror, erasing it from Seymour Avenue's and Cleveland's site. Where there was horror is now a green space. Still, Seymour struggles to find sure footing again in the season of change and time of reflection. Memories of what happened here run deep. So Seymour Avenue steps into another Cleveland changing season, aware that although it does come slowly, the new life of spring does come. For Three News, I'm Leon Good. Our entire Miracle in Cleveland, Tragedy to Triumph special is now streaming. You can watch it on the WKYC Plus app, which you can find in your Roku or Fire TV.